Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head-on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only, uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin? Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you. And he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that... Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Not in the eyes, Radar! Don't look at his eyes! Sorry, Jesse! I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic! So big! Growing! Go! Go! Growing!
entering the town! Far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Did you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Wow, you kind of oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just... need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here now, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um... It made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Hey, that's alright. It's not Luna's color anyway. I mean... I can't be the only one that's noticed. She's always wearing purple. That was, uh, that was a good try, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look! At... This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. I know you're upset. But you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. Has not dried out. Stuck open. Gross!
Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. All this obsessing about the past isn't helping anyone, Zara. It's... It's time to move on. Not yet. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it? And get us up to the admin? I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not! I don't know. Not sure I buy it. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my town, my friends. I want my life back. And Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead. Can't ever say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred's keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! <laughs> Jack! I'm okay! Go! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> you don't know what an admin smells like. Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? 
we can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? Keeping it close to your chest. Smart! Not smart enough to keep you off this cliff, but guess that's not what you're going for! <laughs> maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! <laughs> The first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. Help us and we may surprise you. When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the thing, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. No deal. Yeah, well that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies! World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Move, move out, ya stink bags! Jack! So sorry. This is all my fault. If I hadn't... No, Jesse. This isn't on you. You said it was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. I'm sorry, Nurm. Come on. Yes, this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? Ah! Stop! Stop right there! Okay, okay. I don't want any trouble. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! 
She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Up to uh huh uh, uh oh I'm just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than well studying just in case hey um Jesse yeah do you think radar still thinks I don't know uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently you noticed it too right he's being weird with me like like he thinks I'm still still with the admin or something hey I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petra you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. So... So you're the one! The one who thinks they can beat me is a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool, yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Please, please, don't hurt me. 
alert me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay. Don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. to hurt yourself. Uh, how long were you? Uh, I guess I was getting a little carried away. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kinda scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. I can definitely use these. I know you miss him. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, okay? information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never! You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope! Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done! Prop-like! I'm on a roll! And this one's almost finished! You got it. Alright. Time to make a painting. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue? 
Same color as my underwear. Mine too! <laughs> Wow, you are really cute. <laughs> hey there, little guy. I've got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him! Dog! What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. So that's Fred, huh? Good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin!
Yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such... painstaking detail. I declare this round... A draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess, his favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always... waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He should have the, uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? No one will mind if I just... Woohoo! <laughs> Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue.
pages are gone. And the rest... There are a lot of notes. The Foundation. Brave new Enderman. By Soren? Definitely not what I'm looking for, but... Man... Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him, and didn't let him play their Enderman games. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Uh... Whoa, secret room. There's gotta be something down here. One is called the Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. It goes on, signed by the Chief. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? Another... Great, but it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Sara and Romeo with me. This... this is Fred's journal! I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well? Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Oh? Fred mentioned a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo lived. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. 
Right now, he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. Are you... Sure you want to get this up? If Fred gave it to you... I think he would have understood how much more you need it right now. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? <laughs> He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nerm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. We don't know where Jack is, Nerm. Or when he'll be back. I think he said he's coming here because this was where we were headed. We understand, Nerm. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. from you with Jesse? I... what? No! You, I... I am a stone cold professional! My interest in Jesse was completely professional! Petra's kinda got a point, Radar. Ha! Told ya! Oh, well, you were the one who was totally obsessed with Jack! Petra, I am so sorry! So, uh... What's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on. Let me check. Seems like we're still on... Trump's out! Everybody brace yourself! <laughs> Rough ride! Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with...
Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor! <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Just... Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? Uh, sorry, Ivor. Just something about your face makes me think... Punchy thoughts? Don't worry. People tell me the same thing. I, uh... I see. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Uh, right! Let me explain! You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, Taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Ugh, that is such a lie. Just thinking about the admin running around pretending to be me makes me sick. Yes, I would be frustrated too. Especially seeing how convincing the admin's disguise is. Jesse, aka the admin, Gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Wait, wait, wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good, but what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <coughs> You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, um, 
think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you! Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army! And it's a mighty army! Mightiest army I know! I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Did you not hear me? I said bring it on. I'm ready to fight this army of yours. Oh, oh, and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we, we don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. The Sunshine Institute? I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa! That's hardcore! Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. That was one day when I was like, Soup, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? You know, like one trillion out of ten! Yeah! Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. Doomed souls. The cabin must be through that door. Plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. Welcome! Challenger, Zora, Fred, and me, Romeo! How? The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Yeah! Okay! So poking fire might not be the best idea. We gotta try yeah. something else. Yeah! Take that, overgrown barbecue! The waterfalls! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes! We gotta get them under it! Alright, golems. Time to get soaked. It's mining time! Stage one of six hundred <laughs> complete! 
What? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage 600. <sighs> three levers got us into this. So, so maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Just gotta get 
get some sand and we're set. Right. Good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks. Quickly. Take a look around. I'm sure this isn't what you thought you were signing up for. Being an intern doesn't usually involve deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? Nope. N nothing. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar. You've earned it. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it. In the end. Strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bed rocking. I wonder if Petra found something. How's it looking? 
Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have, back at the treehouse. Until someone... you... broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing it just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. I get it. Puppies always make me cry too. Their cute little faces, their little wagging tails. They're stupid, I mean, uh, paws? <sighs> it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... You do kind of push people away. I don't think you mean to, but when things don't go your way, you get distant. That's because I know what's coming. Better to end it on my terms. Doesn't that seem a little self-sabotaging? Maybe. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners. This one's purple. Very... regal. Whoa! It's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? I don't think that's right. Red bed. Huh. Kind of fun to say. I don't think that goes here. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order.
purple for Zara. Blue for Fred. Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting, the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato 451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just... potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage, and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage? Hmm. Huh. I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for them too. This wasn't easy. For any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or... Or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got... bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how friendship is my thing. But... I don't think I can just stay put. You know? In Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. She did it! This is it then! Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason! To keep things away! We're still missing Nurm. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty admonish there, Zara! 
the weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep. I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh! There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. We're not killing him. That's not the way we do things. Yeah, we're heroes. Don't want to get your hands dirty? Fine, I will. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah! Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this. And there are good things left, if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse?
are, but... Could I spawn a 
Thanks. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. Mystery portals ever. <laughs> what Nerm said. That was not a quality three point landing. Sorry, Nermy. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the Order's Temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood? This is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. Yeah, this place would have blown his mind. Will. When he sees it. Jesse. We are... Endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 